It's four o'clock in the morning, I'm crawling out of my bed. Another opening day is lying just ahead. The sun begins to rise and my anticipation's high, hoping that I'm gonna see a big old bug walk by. Well, this living outdoors is just the life for me. Sitting in my boat or in a stand up in a tree. Well, life is just too short. Won't you come along with me? And let me introduce you to this life. Living outdoors. Living outdoors is brought to you by. Propco High Performance Boat Propellers. Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning. Pro Air Services. Phoenix Steel Homes Quality Steel Framing. Edward Jones Making Sense of Investing. Calvin's Full Service Gas and Towing. Black and Black Automotive Collision and Service Center. Allen Electrical distributor of electrical supplies and lighting fixtures. All right, there's several ways we hunt these rabbits around here in Georgia. We, uh, we like to stomp them just like this without dogs. You get two or three people. If the briar patch is too big, you get two people on the other side. That's it. You get your orange hats on, you let somebody come through, and, and you might get a shot at a rabbit. It's my favorite. It's a hard way to kill them and a lot of work, but it's fun. It is fun. If you get in rabbits, you can kill them faster, I think, than... Running with dogs, with dog, but yep. it's fun to hear the dogs run, and I'm sure you're going to see us doing that later on. And I'm going to tell you, we got a special treat coming up. Now, we're going to do something even we don't get to do much. We're going down to South Georgia with a good buddy next weekend, and we're going to hunt these rabbits with bow and arrows. It's kind of a, it's kind of a different situation. They flood a lot of these ponds down there for these ducks. And before they flood them, they're grown up. And, I mean, they plant stuff in some of them. Sure. Some of them, they let grow up naturally. But when they flood them, these rabbits move up between these ponds on these dikes. You can walk through, and you got briars on the edge of the ponds, and you got rabbits. Yep. And they said they've checked, and the rabbits are there. And so leave your shotgun at home. So y'all get ready. I'm telling you, this is it. I'm, I'm more excited about this than a lot of things I've done in the past. So y'all hold on. It's going to be a good show. <laughs> Ricky left, Ricky left. <laughs> little old bitty rascal. Huh? Little old bitty rascal. Little old bitty rabbit, man. <laughs> he liked to run between your legs. <laughs> what happened, man? I don't know what something happened to him. <laughs> I heard you racking. Oh, that was, that was priceless there, priceless. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Living Outdoors is brought to you by Monroe Veterinarian Clinic, East Spring Street, Monroe, 770-267-3690. Aether Equipment Rental for all your rental needs, 770-207-6041. Your home for real country and NASCAR, WMOQ Q92.3 FM. Homes, Creations, and Tile and Flooring, Highway 78, 770-207-9403. Monroe Paintball Works, 770-881-7421. 
Title Exchange and Pawn, West Spring Street in Monroe with 30 days no interest. Emmy Sorrells Insurance and Financial Services, 770-207-5112. PJ's Place for all you can eat catfish on Friday and Saturday night. That ought to do it. Assuming you've done enough for retirement doesn't make much sense either. Invest with Edward Jones to make sure you're on the right track. Because two out of three Americans are unprepared for retirement. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Contact Charlie Brown, 770-266-0150. Whether it's the heat of summer or the cold of winter, or any time in between, you can depend on Pro Air Services, a division of Snellville Heating and Air, to help you stay comfortable. We've been servicing your area for over 20 years with our fleet of over 50 service vehicles. Our technicians undergo continuous training to ensure that they can provide the most efficient methods of service in the industry. So for the best service in your area, give us a call at 770-982-9800 and be sure to ask about our 24-hour priority service agreement. Do you need a new furnace or air conditioner? Call the experts at Phelps Heating and Air. Our staff specializes in selling and servicing all makes and models. We have provided Monroe with quality work since 1989. Let Phelps Heating and Air add value and comfort to your home today. I'm Jason Phelps and giving award-winning service is my top priority. So remember, Phelps Heating and Air for all of your heating and air needs. Alright, I'm going to get these rabbits this morning, hopefully. It's cold, We've got about 19 degrees. Been waiting for this, deer season's over. I'm going to try to get a few rabbits. Time to eat. That's what we do best, isn't it, Rick? Stone. Got that rabbit. I jumped him. I jumped him, running straight to him. I know I did. I didn't see him. And he hollered first. But I know I jumped him. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Good cocktail. Yes, sir. Hadn't been here five minutes. It's so cold this morning. Well, we got a lot of we got a food plot right here. He's seen a lot of rabbits, and the sun comes up right over here in the east, and it's on this hill. And we figure all these rabbits is just gonna get right out in the sun because it is freezing. All the animals we saw heading this way this morning, sitting on the sunny side of the hill. So rabbits ain't no different. Are we going to get them? Good shot, Jay. Thanks. Cottontail. Big cottontail. Highland rabbit. Yep. Dragon rabbit. Be some good eating on the pit right there. It ain't easy, but I'll tell you what, a lot of times when it's this cold, you gotta get tight on them because they'll sit so long. They are cold, and a lot of times you can just about feel them get out from under your foot. You gotta get on them so close. Got to get tight in all these little areas. You think you, you think you hit it, but then you got to get right in the middle of it. And sometimes that ain't easy. All right, we're just hitting these little spots. Got one rabbit out of the first ditch. A lot of these ditches got little thickets up them. That one had a nice hollow log, perfect. And he was in there. But we got a planted pine field out here. Got a lot of low briars, and the sun's hitting on it perfect. So we're gonna push back around. Go back to the truck, 
go up to the store, <laughs> get a drink, maybe a biscuit. Thaw out a little bit. Thaw out a little bit. Come back and we got a big swamp we're gonna hit and hopefully we're gonna kill some of those big swamp rabbits. That's what we're hoping for. Big Georgia buck rabbit. We got one to go on the pit. Now we need one for the soup. Let's do it. Let's go. Now this is another way you can hunt these rabbits. I'm standing here in a clearing while Jay goes through the briars and runs them out. Now that, that's my favorite way. Get him up, Jay! I'm working on it. A lot of times when you small game hunting this time of year, you also post scouting your deer. Um, there's no better time to see the trails and the rubs. <laughs> Leaves are all off the trees. You can see every trail, every track in the woods. <laughs> now, we've been noticing today a lot of big rubs in here. It's kind of making me thinking where I'm going to put my stand next year. Because he's definitely been tearing it up. Cutie. Right here between Look us. Look at him, man. Dang. Wait, let me see if I can find him first before you shoot him. You think? Like a little rabbit. He is a little. It is a rabbit. Did you get him? I believe he got I him. I was on him, buddy. He shot right on him. Yeah. Right. Good job, Jeff. There he is. Look at there. Perfect. About a half grown right there. That's a good rabbit to eat. Number two. I mean, I shot. I didn't even, I couldn't even tell if I hit the rabbit. I just saw him jump over a little old pile of his brush and I just sent it through there. Y'all called it. That's the way to jump him, cameraman. Good job. That's two. Right. He's well on the way to eating. All right, the first rabbit we jumped, we got out of the truck. It's right on the edge of this field. We jumped him in a ditch on a hollow log. I guarantee you he'd been out in this. This is a thick mass up underneath these pines. It's real thick, and the sun is hitting right on it. What we did, we went on down the ditch, circled around the swamp, jumped one more buck rabbit. We didn't get a shot at him. But we come back around, and now we've got back in this field, and we've just started. And there it is. I mean, it's, it's thick under here. It's cold. The sun's on it, it's where they're supposed to be. Good job, Jay. Let's get another one. Got me a new rabbit hunting gun. No, no, not this one. That one. Now look, you might think, what kind of idiot are you? Well, I am. But this is the new Taurus Ultralight Judge. Now look, this is what I'm talking about right here. That's uh that's all four tens. Got six shot in there for a close shot in the briars, man. Hey, you can't beat it. So let's see if we can't get one. All right, we finished with our first spot here. It took a couple hours. Got two rabbits, did good. Yep. Jumped them in the same little area here. Went down in the swamp, we jumped one buck rabbit, didn't get a shot. But uh, we're taking a little break. We're gonna go up here to the gratis store Oh, they got some good biscuits. Oh, Jay, what do you think? I'm ready, let's go. And get us something to drink, and we're gonna come back, and then we're going to the swamp where you've seen us before, killing the buck rabbits. And we think there's some there. He's we seen them so. deer hunting yep. this year, so uh, hopefully we can get in there and find them. That's what it's all about. I mean, these rabbits can hide. You never know where they sit. They move around a lot. So all we're gonna do is move around a lot. That's right. All right, let's get them. Let's do it. We just come through some nasty stuff. Jumped another buck rabbit. Jeff was standing down, down the creek down here and he saw him going through the bushes. Couldn't get a shot at him, but we got about another acre of good stuff to go, so cross your fingers. We'll try to get one buck rabbit for the day anyway. Got two cottontails, we're pretty tickled about that. But we want to make a pot of soup. Best thing for a soup is a butt rabbit. Let's eat. Could have shot that rabbit right there and I didn't want to blow him to pieces.
All right, Jay just shot at a butt rabbit. We'll never give him a good shot, but he shot a couple times at him. Ricky's done went down in the briars and found him. That's good. I'm glad. He put some shot in him, but man, these butt rabbits are big. Thank goodness he went on down in there. I mean, we knew he hit him, but he just wouldn't give him a good shot. These things are slick. Now, that's a swamp rabbit right here now. Look at there. Cool. What happened, Ricky? Man. Jay shot, and I saw the rabbit keep going. And I just broke and ran all the way to the creek, you know, and I just said, uh, try to see where he crosses the creek. Well, I never did quite get there. It's further down there than I thought it was. And I just turned around, really was headed back this way, y'all, and I looked over there. I mean, something just, a, li a, a limb just stood back up, kind of, you know? And there he was. And I walked over there, and he was sitting up, just still alive, sitting in a crouch, just up under some of this stuff. And you know how he looked from the back? You can't see him. And I just dove right on him, man, and pinned his head to the ground. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Living Outdoors is brought to you by Monroe Veterinarian Clinic, East Spring Street, Monroe, 770-267-3690. Aether Equipment Rental, for all your rental needs, 770-207-6041. Your home for real country and NASCAR, WMOQ Q92.3 FM. Homes, Creations, and Tile and Flooring, Highway 78, 770-207-9403. Monroe Paintball Works, 770-881-7421. Title Exchange and Pond, West Spring Street in Monroe with 30 days no interest. Emmy Sorrells Insurance and Financial Services, 770-207-5112. PJ's Place, for all you can eat catfish on Friday and Saturday night. Do you need a new furnace or air conditioner? Call the experts at Phelps Heating and Air. Our staff specializes in selling and servicing all makes and models. We have provided Monroe with quality work since 1989. Let Phelps Heating and Air add value and comfort to your home today. I'm Jason Phelps and giving award-winning service is my top priority. So remember, Phelps Heating and Air for all of your heating and air needs. A home may be your largest financial investment. Protect your investment by building with superior framing materials from Phoenix Steel Homes. Steel framing offers greater strength and security. Steel will not rot, warp, or burn and is impervious to termite damage. Intelligent designs combined with strict manufacturing standards results in a superior finished product. Steel framing offers greater design capabilities, superior strength, and greater energy efficiency. So let the strength of steel support your next home. In 1961, I built my first boat as well as the engines, and I designed my own props. Since then, I have become a world-renowned powerboat champion, and I've also developed a reputation for designing the best props in the world. My company PropCo has revolutionized and set the industry standard for quality props for the last 50 years. And I'm still as hands-on today as I was 50 years ago. Whether you're into racing or an avid outdoorsman, PropCo propellers are the best that money can buy. Whether it's the heat of summer or the cold of winter or any time in between, you can depend on Pro Air Services, a division of Snellville Heating and Air to help you stay comfortable. We've been servicing your area for over 20 years with our fleet of over 50 service vehicles. Our technicians undergo continuous training to ensure that they can provide the most efficient methods of service in the industry. So for the best service in your area, give us a call at 770-982-9800 and be sure to ask about our 24-hour priority service agreement. All right, here we go. Going on a little road trip here. Going rabbit hunting. Now we, we've been doing a little bit of dog running. We've done some stomping. We showed you all this stuff in the past, but this time we're going to do a little something different. We're going bow hunting for these rabbits. Now I'm gonna tell you folks, <laughs> bow hunting has always been one of my favorite things anyway. And uh, I enjoy this rabbit hunting. So when they combine them, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be fun. It's, gotta be. it's kind of a unique situation. They've uh, flooded a lot of ponds down here that they have for ducks. They empty them out during the summertime, plant them, then this time of year they flood them and the ducks come in there but the rabbits have to leave. And they run around on these edges and there's a lot of rabbits in the area. So they say it's not a hard to find the rabbits, but Killing them with a bow might be a different story. We're gonna find out. Let's go, we're gonna try to get some. We're gonna eat these bad boys. Y'all come on, I hope you enjoy it.
folks, you know, we always talk about hunting on government land, on public property, and that's where we are today. The Altamaha WMA. All it takes is a hunting license and a WMA stamp. And I, I want you to just look from standing in one place what you can see that we can hunt. It Unreal. costs almost nothing, man, and we have so, so many acres like this that we can hunt. And this is doing something that we've never done before, hunting these rabbits with bow and arrows, and we cannot wait. It's kind of cold out here, but they say that there's snakes around here, so Jeff, he's going to lead the way. We're glad it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get after them. Yes, sir. Because he ran and stopped. Hold up. There he is. Got him. Don't see, keep saying that word. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, walk in that bush a little bit. Scare him out for him. I don't. Yeah, just pump him right here in front of him. There he is, Charlie. Charlie's coming up the right right there. See you. Missed him. Hold on, we still. We still. Coming at you, Ricky. Coming at you. Hold on, let's see, let's see. I have a different Hey folks, we've been here 10 minutes and I bet I've shot 10 times and I have not even scared a rabbit. Charlie, he shot, Jeff he shot. I don't know what's wrong with these Monroe boys. We can't get it done. But one of these boys up here did kill a rabbit a minute ago and they are here, they're everywhere. Y'all hang around. Come on, let's go find these guys. He took a through the heart. What'd you get him with, Charlie? We're back y'all's way, we're back y'all's way. There you go. Got out there, stop. <laughs> Bull hunting, buck rabbits. <laughs> it's just tripping us out. <laughs> I got to have a throw on it. Jeff, right to you, Jeff. Missed him, Mary Jay, right there. I done shot about five or six times. I ain't hit one yet. I think we're trying to see how close you can get to the actual rabbit without hitting it. And I'm uh, doing a pretty good job of that. Hey folks, I told you we had a lot of good friends with us down here today. This is one of them right here. This is John Lopez. He's been doing a great job on the camera today, and uh, we're just following these guys around, man. And, you know, we kind of had our doubts when we came down here about what we were doing. <laughs> but you can see that the rabbits are here. It's fun. It's crazy. We own government property. Anybody can do it, folks. Got him. Got him. Woo! There we go. There we go. Boy. There he goes. <coughs> Where? There he is, right there. Good shot. Huh? Good shot. Did I get him? Yeah, good shot. Cool. He's dead as a hammer, man. Oh, good shot. Good job. Right. Oh, Bo will kill him down in a shotgun if you hit him right. <laughs> yeah, man, take this. Oh, he's got the whistle.
idiot, cuz. <laughs> Actually, that was called a finishing shot. Right huh? I let the other two boys slow him down and I finished him off oh, my 410. Yeah. That man saw that rabbit. What, did he jump on hey. you or did you just see him? I see him. Yeah, that's the way I killed my Staying life, off right. his road. I've been staying off the road and working my way up the side of the bank right that's there. That's a trip right there now. That rabbit was hiding How out. Past? Hey, when we went hunting this morning, when we got in the, got in the truck to go hunting, the boys got out with one of these, and it's like a gaff. We couldn't figure out what they were going to do with it. But uh, some of these rabbits, we're, we're shooting them in such thick areas, and they just reach in there and actually pull them out and keep you from having to go down in there and get it. It's a great idea. Homemade, and uh, it's amazing what rednecks have come up with. <laughs> Whether it's the heat of summer or the cold of winter or any time in between, you can depend on Pro Air Services, a division of Snellville Heating and Air, to help you stay comfortable. We've been servicing your area for over 20 years with our fleet of over 50 service vehicles. Our technicians undergo continuous training to ensure that they can provide the most efficient methods of service in the industry. So for the best service in your area, give us a call at 770-982-9800 and be sure to ask about our 24-hour priority service agreement. That ought to do it. Assuming you've done enough for retirement doesn't make much sense either. Invest with Edward Jones to make sure you're on the right track. Because two out of three Americans are unprepared for retirement. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Contact Charlie Brown, 770-266-0150. Do you need a new furnace or air conditioner? Call the experts at Phelps Heating and Air. Our staff specializes in selling and servicing all makes and models. We have provided Monroe with quality work since 1989. Let Phelps Heating and Air add value and comfort to your home today. I'm Jason Phelps and giving award-winning service is my top priority. So remember, Phelps Heating and Air for all of your heating and air needs. All right, folks, it's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've been hunting since a little after daylight, and as you can see, we've had pretty good luck. We split up early, and uh, some of these boys got into them better than we did, but we had a great time, man. We got about 25 rabbits laying here. Uh, we got Lewis back here, Jeremiah, James, John. All these guys have been doing this for years and invited us down here, and you know, it's hard to believe the way they explained it, but it's a unique situation the way they flood all this stuff with ducks and these rabbits come out of there and settle around these edges and uh, it's unreal. It's harder than we thought it was. Oh, definitely. And you can walk by rabbits that will hunker down in the briars and you won't ever see them. So they've taught us a little lesson on that too, but we want to thank these guys and uh, we really do appreciate it and we will be back and we hope y'all enjoyed the rabbit show. Living Outdoors is brought to you by Propco High Performance Boat Propellers, Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning, Pro Air Services, Phoenix Steel Homes Quality Steel Framing, Edward Jones Making Sense of Investing, Calvin's Full Service Gas and Towing, Black and Black Automotive Collision and Service Center, Allen Electrical, distributor of electrical supplies and lighting fixtures. 